Now at the University of Pennsylvania after anti-Semitic messages are displayed on some campus buildings. Good afternoon to you everyone. I'm Natasha Brown. And I'm Siapa Lewis. Penn's president says the school is conducting a full investigation into those messages. As CBS News Philadelphia Chief Investigative Reporter Joe Holden explains, tensions are running high on the campus right now. Good afternoon from the University of Pennsylvania campus here in University City, where word from the university overnight, a number of university buildings were beamed with what they're describing anti-Semitic messages. Police are now investigating. A soft rain fell on the prestigious Penn campus while students worked through the details of this message from the university president that arrived early Friday morning. News of what the president called anti-Semitic messages projected and beamed in light on several university buildings on Wednesday night. I was incredibly disheartened. This student asked we not reveal her identity due to what she says are increasing tensions and concerns for safety. I was incredibly shocked and I was so shocked that I thought it was Photoshop because I didn't think anyone would actually do anything like that to the buildings on campus. The lighted projections are but the latest developments here testing the university administration's response. The university campus has been roiled in the last few weeks with demonstrations backing both Israel and Palestinians in Gaza. Earlier this week, a series of emails containing anti-Semitic threats were sent to university staff, according to police. That investigation is still ongoing. All this follows several anti-Semitic incidents going back to last month. Including vandalism at Penn Hillel. The tensions are very high. Students tell me they've been left to feel uncomfortable. I think Jewish students and pro Palestinian students are fighting very hard to get their opinion heard, and that ends up in some very big shows of opinion, like the light shows we saw. In its statement, the university wrote, We will pursue this matter to the fullest extent and take swift action in accordance with our policies. Well-known Philadelphia defense attorney Bill Brennan told me police and prosecutors have a high bar to reach when considering charges given First Amendment protections. Troubling messages, not necessarily criminal. Yeah, I mean that's that's the state of the law, but you know it's 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 certainly it's 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 a tough law to swallow when you know you're the the kid on the campus being targeted. Because of your ethnicity. CBS News Philadelphia confirmed earlier in the week federal law enforcement is involved in the investigations at Penn. In University City, I'm Joe Holden, CBS News Philadelphia.